Hi friends, welcome back to the e-bike noob. Today we're going to do some upgrades to the Aerial Rider X. We're going to make this thing look and feel great. Let's get right to it. Here's our replacement fork. And then we're going to put on some new tires for the X-Class. We're going to do these V Mission Command tires. Uh, instead of the black, let's go ahead and see what these nice red ones look like on the bike. And just as a little fun bonus, we're also going to put on these fun old school turbo BMX grips. So let's do that. Right, so we're starting with the plastic fender. We're just going to go ahead and remove that. Don't buy one Allen key. Buy the entire set of them. Fender's off, headlights off. We're going to do the handlebars now. So let's go ahead and get these off and then we'll see how to get that fork out of there. Fun. If you're unaware of why I'm replacing the fork on this bike, this is a first generation X-Class. Aerial Rider felt these forks were not up to code, so they sent out replacement forks to all the first generation X-Class owners. We actually didn't even ask for it, they just kind of sent it out. We didn't pay shipping or anything, we just had to put them on. So thanks again for doing that, super cool. Done with this thing. Well, we're not, we're not done yet. Now we got to put the new one on. Brakes. Then we got to do the tires. So we're going to put our new fork on the X class. We got to take off the top part here so we can get this through our head tube. Cinch it back up. We should be good to go. I was having a hard time finding something to hold the bike up. You know, it's just kind of an awkward shape. It doesn't have a regular seat for like a traditional bike stand to kind of clamp onto it. So what I found to work really well is a keyboard stand. One of those X style folding keyboard stands actually works great, supports the weight just fine. Um, you may have one laying around the house and they're pretty inexpensive. Now, right off the bat, and I'm not saying, you know, everyone's in a different situation, but I've heard these tires are like impossible to get off of here. Just right off the bat, we could pretty much one finger those directly on out without using tire levers or any special tools. damage our valve stem but there you go as you can see no special tools required a little heat goes an incredibly long way go ahead and reuse that get, get rid of you and once again just one continuous shot of the camera let's see if I can do this without having to use any tire levers whatsoever. Tito, hang on, hang on. Let me just do this really quick. Uh, this is this is Bob from the from the, the burger place down by the wharf. Uh, if you could just hit the subscribe button, that'd be super cool, and the e-bike dude would really appreciate it. Awesome. Oh, did, please tell me I put them on the right. Nope, definitely put that tire on backwards. Oh, I'm such an idiot. All right, so see the direction of the tread? That means I put it on backwards. There should be a little arrow somewhere over here that will say what a fucking idiot this guy is. And that's why they call me the e-bike noob. Don't make the same mistake, just check on the tire. There should be a little arrow indicating which direction the tire should roll. Now we wanna just deflate. One. At that point, can we get the inner tube out? 
Do you want to reuse this too? So careful around that valve stem. Just easily. So you can see this side. I know that red tape looks cool in there. I wish I had like the punch out rims. Reuse this thing. Roll you away. To replace the fork took maybe about a half an hour. 45 minutes tops. I wasn't timing myself, but it wasn't too difficult of a job. There weren't any special tools or anything that was required. So thanks again, Ariel, for sending out the replacement. Really appreciate that. The tires were really easy to take off and to put on the new ones. The whole key is to just let them get warm. If they're super cold, it makes the whole job really, really hard to do. And you'll definitely need tire levers and you'll probably end up getting really frustrated. I'm lucky enough to have a fireplace, so I let the tires just kind of sit by the fire for a little bit. You know, a couple of minutes is all it takes just to soften up the rubber enough to where it's easy to get them on and off the rims. So I'd really recommend trying that if you're having a hard time with these tires. If you have any questions, as always, let me know. Hit that like button, subscribe. Have a great day. See you next time.